Okay guys, so I've just got this hydroxy cell set up to this 48 volt battery pack um, <coughs> showing 6 point varying obviously because the um, the actual hydroxy is uh, going up and down. It's got this return but it probably can't keep up with the amount of uh, gas it's actually pumping out. It's really very hard to actually I'm going to try and get that on video, but I just don't think I'm going to. The, the size of these bubbles are incredibly small. If that gives a better indication, there's a lot of gas coming out. Um, I'll just try to light on the camera. Maybe that shows it up better. But it really is producing a lot of gas. Um, I, by the naked eye, I can see this absolutely caning. But um, <clears throat> with a camera, it's uh, not so easy to show that. Just try in different light. Maybe uh, you'll get a brief moment of it. But the interesting thing is the frequency. Um, it's jumping about, obviously, because the uh, amount of electrolyte in the actual um, in the cell. It's such a small cell, and it's got such a f um, small amount of <coughs> gap between the, the anode and cathode that um, it probably can't keep. Uh, the amount of hydroxy in there that it, um, oh, sorry, the amount of electrolyte in there that uh, it would to be able to sustain some sort of um, consistency. I can see the, the water level going up and then coming down a bit. So what I'm going to do is I've got to actually put in a larger port. This is like one mil. Um, let's say standard, just to give you a size, I don't know how they make um, brass tubing so small, but uh, one, one moment, sorry, uh, just got a standard pin here from a pin board, so as you can imagine the size of this pin is about the same size as that tube. Now that's hollow. So that gives you an indication of how thin that tube is. But it can't keep up. I can see that clearly. I need it to keep up. Maybe I could just whack a couple more of these uh, tubes in and probably keep up then. I might do that uh, initially just um, for ease. But uh, something along the lines of this size here, this sort of pipe here would be probably adequate. That's compared with that there. So, um, but anyway, uh, that's the frequency. Um, that's the voltage. Uh, be interesting to see if this cell actually gets warm. And that's the power draw. The fluctuation would be the fact that the electrolyte uh, is changing levels in the cell. And there's not much of a cell for that to um, be. So if that's my finger, it's about two inches long this cell, um, just under two inches long, and um, about uh, just under um, half an inch, or uh, about, about eight, eight mil, excuse me, maybe a third of an inch. Um, 8 to 10 mil actual pipe tube is used. I'll be using this 3 inch stainless steel nail. And I'll be making another cell out of uh, this here. And as you can see, that's a pretty close fit too. Um, this is not as close as what I have here. This is incredibly close because I used um, stainless steel thread because it's actually a bolt 
I can't use that thread there in this here. That would be too tight to touch. But uh, that's going to be the next one is to do it out of a stainless steel nut because it's got that clean surface area. It may uh, give a yield a different result. So there you have it, folks. Um, I'll just try and try one more thing. I wish I had a zoom. It's one thing these Apple iPhones don't have is a zoom. And that would be pretty handy. What does this button do? Oh, no, that's volume. So a zoom would be good. But we don't have one, Steve. Come on. Apple iPhone 4.2. <laughs> um, there you go. You can get a bit of an indication of it. I'll just try and crack a few... Uh, just crack a, a bit of gas yeah. out of that with a uh, a lighter if I've got a lighter handy. Um, all right, just watch the next video. I'll come back with a lighter. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy these videos.